Can you also talk about companies like you said around one year old? Mm -hmm. Or yeah, talk bit, a yeah. bit about you know what kind of use cases uh, you have attracted, mm -hmm. and those use cases actually surprise you also yeah. that how much you were needed. Right. Well, I'll talk about a few actually that we saw here at the show where yeah, we talked to several people who have um, privacy and secure data issues in their observability, and they need to mask and redact data. So they, but they can't send the data out. So what, what they end up, and they can't get the developers to you know, take out the credit card information. And also that's on the e-commerce side, credit card, you know, personal information. On the healthcare side is HIPAA information. So that's something that's secure and private. So we see both those use cases, um, actually in people we've talked to today, they wanna have their logs and their metrics filter out, redact and mask those particular metrics. So they can actually send it off and get it into the observability solutions um, and, but maintain governance and compliance to those. So that's a really key key use case. Um, the other one people get excited about, more and more uh, organizations are using traces now. So for application performance monitoring, it's really kind of hard. Um, we've had metrics and logs for a while. Traces are actually um, a really great way to actually to track down application performance. But when you turn, turn traces on, you get volumes of information. Um, which could be very costly and they can spike your, your cost up. So what we can do is tail sample, which is just randomly sample or sending all your data. You might miss where the, the, the spike is or where the issue is. You could tail sample and say, I'm only gonna send my most important traces off to my telemetry solution or my observability solution. Um, once again, better root cause, better cost control, better operational control all happening because of these key use cases. And these are things we see over and over again, the light bulbs go off when you talk to folks about their current, whether they're using Prometheus or Grafana, whether they're using you know, Chronosphere, whether they're using Datadog, we talk to Dynatrace and New Relic customers. So across the board, these issues are pervasive. Um, and we think there's a, a great solution that takes the foundation of open telemetry, layers a control plane on top of it, that's standard, that's open, uh, that provides that controllability on top of the observability, and really helps to move the, the market forward more intelligence and more control. So, what are the things in your pipeline that you know, funding, growth, product development, go to market? What are the things in your pipeline for this year? I mean, we're super excited. We just yesterday we just launched the company. We announced our five million dollars of funding. We launched our new product. So we have a lot of news that we just launched, um, and now we're really getting into now building up our customer base. We have early availability of our products. So people come to our website, controltheory.com, check us out. We got a free trial, just you know, come in and we can actually plug right into your observability systems and take a look at it and see what we can do. Um, just the ability to understand your observability. These metametrics are, are, are mind blowing for many folks. From there, you can actually start providing a lot of great hygiene, deduplicating, filtering, et cetera. Um, so ahead of us, we see a lot of working with um, customers in particular, but also the partner ecosystem, working with open telemetry community, working with the larger vendors and helping them improve their environment because we want to help, you know, for a Datadog customer, we can make their environment better. We could help them adopt more solutions. We could help them bring in more data that's, that's got a higher higher fidelity. Uh, so all those things are the areas we could help the existing ecosystem. That's another area that we're working today with is talking to, talking to partners, seeing how that we can um, help elevate what's going on in observability to the next level, because there's many challenges ahead. I think we kind of stagnated on the, the old problems and now we can actually start solving some new problems and take that next huge leap forward. And uh, we're super excited by that.